All righty, welcome to another edition of Science Sunday, of course, with Aoife Ryle here at the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so we're kind of doing a blend of art and science today. You have a, a kinetic sculpture? Yes. Okay. So if we break that down, obviously <laughs> sculpture, right? Mm -hmm. That's where the, the art is That's coming from. That's the art from. side of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have science and art. Um, and kinetic is just talking about motion. That's a science word. That's a science <laughs> yeah. word, yeah. <laughs> so um, things in motion are, we call that kinetic energy. Yeah. Um, so yes, this very <laughs> creepy crawling looking thing here is a kinetic sculpture. So we can see there's tons of moving parts um, because we're going to be changing wind energy into mechanical energy. Okay. Um, and so this is actually based on these massive, massive pieces that an artist um, named Theo Jansen makes. He's a Dutch artist and you can go see his uh, very, very massive beach kinetic sculptures, <laughs> which wouldn't fit in here. Um, but we can check out how this one moves. Okay. So uh, obviously we're inside, so no wind. There's no wind. <laughs> no wind. So <laughs> we're going to make our own wind All right. with a little desk fan. If you want to turn that on, you might have to angle it down a little bit. Okay. There we go. So we can see this starting to move. And then that's going to transfer that energy to these little legs here. And we can see it's starting to kind of creep along. Right. See all those little legs yeah. starting to move. So we're transferring that wind energy here into kinetic. Okay. And then I can even, if we flip it around, just put this back in there. We'll All right, redirect the wind. All right. Now it'll kind of crawl towards gotcha. our wind source. So um, depending on which way this fan is spinning, our legs are gonna move okay. in that direction. So yeah, kind of a very um, cool science-driven art piece. And really, can explain how we can capture wind energy mm -hmm. or the wind and convert it into energy. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, and it's very, actually very similar to how we would use wind energy. There's something spinning in here with that wind, um, and then we're converting that energy. Okay. So, mechanical, and then in wind turbines, it'd be electrical right. energy. So, okay, good yeah. stuff. Um, so, lots of fun things here happen at the mm -hmm. Science Center all the time. So many hands on exhibits. You've got the traveling exhibition space. Mm -hmm. um, have events all the, uh, you know, most weekends. Yep. Um, you also have these really cool take home kits. Yes, our science at home kits. Um, you know, we give you absolutely everything you need in a box and we send it to your house. And then you get to jump on live with one of our educators to go through the activity um, and discuss, you know, what the activity is with our educators. And each kit comes with three different activities over three weeks. Okay. Um, and you can find all of the information and sign up for those boxes on our website. We have kits now for October, November, and December. And we should point out a box serves a family of two kids. Two kids. Ages six to 12. Yeah. And this is hugely popular. Yes. So perhaps you've done one of these kits in the past. Mm -hmm. Every kit that comes out is a new iteration. It's different than the past. Exactly, yeah. So even if you've done it before, um, it's all new stuff and they're, they're really fun. All right, so ctsciencecenter.org. Mm -hmm. All right, learn more about them and buy them there. Yes. Okay, yes. good stuff. Eva, thank you so much. Of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.